cleaning. Or summer. Whatever. There's something in there. It looks a bit like him.
Why am I even seeing this? He seems to be... afraid of me. You want to find out why? I just hope this is getting me closer to Zora. Akoi did turn out to be a jerk, but... Even he deserves better. Oh, does he? Is your memory playing tricks on you, princess? <gasps> See? Now hunt him down to get the memory. I'd have to make him stand still for a while, but... See the little guys on the trees? Every year, 
When the day becomes equal with the night, the people from the village would prepare to send the old, bad winter into the great beyond. Meaning, they would try to kill winter. Good luck with that. That year was much different. There would be no joyful celebrations, as a series of unfortunate events has cast its shadow upon the village. For the young, however, the old tradition was more than a practice of faith. Some teenagers decided to break the ban, each for a reason of their own. Drago seemed oddly reluctant to go deeper into the woods that day, yet Zora, the bolder one of the twin sisters, wasn't going to give up on the plan she had. I'm going anyway. You two can take care of the statue here. Dragoi and Yaga had been friends for years, but there was clearly something more subtle between them as well. Uh, why fall in love when you can fall asleep? Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Dragoi and Yaga, yes. There they are. My folks said we shouldn't build the effigies anymore. Now that Baba's back, said Dragoi. <laughs> but I made up this story that this time we're making it to ward off Baba, not the winter. <laughs> and, and guess what? They didn't mind anymore. You need to be careful, Yaga. Now people talk trash. And you probably don't realize what kind of crazy ideas they can come up with when they fear for their children's lives. Yaga wasn't really listening. All she could think of was a tiny gift she brought for Dragoi. Her heart pounded when she reached for it. The boy glanced at Yaga's mask. Take it off. Just for once. No! She answered and flinched, but he wouldn't quit insisting. Dragoi, no! Oh, will you stop playing the goddamn prude? You're a lunatic, just as they say you are. He cried out violently. She couldn't believe her ears. She used to call Dragoi a friend. Oh, whatever. Let's go. We have to find Zora. I, I think I know where she's at. Granted Dragoi as he stood up. A wounded pride tempted him to do something he would regret until the very end. As they walked through the... Uh, mysterious this and that... Oh, here's a good part. After leading the way for a good while, the boy stopped in the middle of a clearing. Go! A pack of men from the village jumped out of the bushes and took the dazed girl by surprise. You've made up your mind after all. That's a good boy, said one of the men. <sighs> Treachery plagues the lesser minds, doesn't it, Dragoi? Light the fire and bring in the gold. Time to cleanse this waif of the witch's touch. As Yaga looked at the scapegoat brought by the villagers, a familiar voice grew in volume in the back of her head. You've let them treat you like trash all these years. And now you're even gonna let them cut you open? Let them burn you alive? Let me answer this for you, princess. Get the hell out of my way. me as the perfect scapegoat. Monster. You always saw a monster in me. Now I can give you all you've ever wanted. Just get out of my way. Please. Still. No. No, 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 no! Watch out for the fire! Yes. 
quenching fire. Today, it consumes you. It consumes your homes. It consumes your whole world. God damn it! No! Get out of my way! You do call me a foundling! Freak! The names have been growing old on me. So you kept coining new ones. The witch's eye in the village. <laughs> you need me. No choice. I'll go right through you. I'm breaking your bones. I'm crushing your skulls. You can never speak that filth again. to ignite all these years and all I needed was a single spark you want to hide here in the woods you can't hide from fire come bask in the light inhale the heat isn't it what you wanted and if you get burnt if the flames swallow you whole if you suffer a painful death that's the price I'm willing to pay Your fists, your sticks, stones, and your iron will meet their match. They will melt and vanish in fire. Place and everything in it, and I. I may. burn with it. That's the price I'm willing to pay. from the Red Oak. You're safe here. They went the other way. And they won't try anything again. Not when I'm around. But they think I... that Volko and Slavitsa... We'll know what happened to them soon enough. I think I know where to look. Where's... Where's Dragoy? That old weasel. Must be on his way back home already. Dragoy, we haven't seen him since that day. Hello? Who's the... Is it... Is it you? No! No, it can't! No, no! Stop! Wait. No! What? Where? Oh no! Please, not my mask! Keep 
the red oak. I'm almost there. That's the place, all right. The red oak. Our hiding place. No sign of Zora, though. Look around. He is here. The one who doesn't judge. Void inside. Could say the same about you. He won't judge you, but he will feed on your past and the souls you've brought. Be brave, princess. Another mask. It looks a bit like the old one. Can I have it? It's still not enough. You gotta take it back home. Who? Ugh, your sister. She said she knew how to find the missing kids, right? So she went looking for them? Of course. A way to find my sister leads through the... through the rest of my lost friends. I need to find out what happened to them. As if you didn't know already. <laughs> anyway. You're taking a trip down the memory lane, princess. You will see. You will remember. The seal. Take it to the hut. While you still can. <laughs> Old gods are dead. You are alive. 